I'm often questioned about political things and the things that go on every day in the political arena. People want to talk about it. This is the year of a big election in this country. We elect a president, we elect senators, we elect congressmen in their state and local elections as well. And so it's kind of a political year, but I'm not into the political scene as such. I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican, I'm, I'm not an independent, I'm a Christian. I'm a member of the Jesus Party. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in the red letter teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I do believe that our country has veered off of its spiritual course. We began as a nation with a focus on the Bible, God's Word. We were founded upon the premise of people coming to this country and being free to worship God as they choose. And we came from a country, England, that had a state church, and they told you about your faith and your religion, whatever you wanted to call it. And so when these people came here, they decided they would form a union, the, a, a union of states, and they would come together and they would write documents. And in all those documents they wrote, 40%, more than 40% of direct quotes and indirect quotes come from the word of the living God. So there's no question that we're formed as a Christian nation. Christianity was at the basis. It literally was the foundation of how this nation came to be. So last night we, we had a debate between two people who are wanting to be president of the United States beginning on the 20th of January, 2025. And I listened intently wanted to hear what they had to say. I can tell you after listening to that debate, I must pray more, I must fast, I must seek the face of God. We need to turn around in this country because we veered off course and we must correct the course. So how might we do that? Well, it's, it's very simple in my book. We come back to the Bible. We, we come back to the teachings of the gospel. So, so please listen to this before you turn me off or say, well, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in God or Jesus. Let me just tell you that in this book, we call them the red letter teachings of Jesus, is the very absolute best, highest, finest way of life that has ever been described. It's a life of love. It's a life of forgiveness. It's, it's a life of literally preferring your brother, helping your brother, helping your sister. The same things that this nation was founded upon. So, so even, let's just say you don't believe in God, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, and you don't believe the Bible is the Word of God. Yet, the teachings, the red letter teachings of Jesus Christ form the greatest constitution ever given to mankind to live together on a planet called Earth. You could live by those and not be a believer and live your highest life. That is your highest life outside of knowing Jesus Christ. So what is the hope for our country? I listened last night, I wanted to hear a vision for the country. I, I listened to do different opinions about who we are as a country and where we are. If you look at our country today and you look me in the face after looking at it very carefully and you tell me we're doing great, we're a great country, I will tell you, you don't see the same country that I see. When I grew up, we didn't have to lock our doors. I grew up in a neighborhood, a mill village, where we were safe. There was no crime. There were no break-ins. There, there was, nobody was getting killed and murdered in our city. Oh yes, sometimes it would happen, but few and far between. And look what has happened to us. Riots in our cities. Some of our cities got burned down. Some of our government buildings overtaken by people. Even in the last few weeks, in the last few months, we have people who came over here from foreign countries who invaded our land illegally. And I want to tell you they are here illegally. They didn't come in legally, they came here illegally. I'm all for immigration as long as it's done legally and by the book. We've had people come here with all kinds of ideologies some who don't believe in God, who don't serve God. Some of them come in and they've come from a nation where each man does as he sees fit in his own eyes. Kind of like what was going on back in the days of Noah. 
when every man did what was right in his own eyes. He decided how he's going to live. He decided what he was going to do. Lamech, a man in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis, killed a man. And he said, I did it just because I wanted to. And if you look around us today, the chaos that is taking place, you have to ask yourself, is this the kind of nation we want? Is this what we want for our children, for our grandchildren? Do we want our children to grow up and, and be confronted at school in our educational system with the thought that they might not be the gender they think they are? So we tell a boy, you, you might not be a boy. We tell a young girl, you might not be a girl. Do we really want that? Do we want to grow up in a nation where God has been eliminated from the educational system, prayer, the Bible? I don't think so. I ask you to pray with me. We, his people, people called by his name, must humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and turn from our sinning ways. And what will he do? Then he will hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins and he will heal our land, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. And then when Jesus was getting ready to go back to heaven, what did he pray? Pray for his disciples and his followers. And this is what he said as he was praying to his father, Father, that they may be one, even as you and I are one. I think the unity that we can have is if we come together around the cross of Jesus Christ, his resurrection, his ascension to the right hand of the Father, and we just say we believe in Jesus Christ. Let's forget about all the denominational differences. You still be your denomination, I'll still be mine. Actually, I'm not a denominational person, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus, I serve him. I welcome anyone who wants to do that. There is a future for this country. There is a reckoning day coming and there is a turning back to God coming. You mark my word, you watch what happens. Yeah, there'll be one more debate. Probably won't learn any more than we learned in the one that just took place. But here's what I know. There is a God in heaven, and this is what he promised. You, those of you, those nations, those people who bless Israel, I will bless. America has a blessing coming. There is hope. There is a future for this country. We are going to pull out of this. There is going to be a sovereign move of God across our land and multiply tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of people around the world are going to be swept into the kingdom of God.